What's up? My name is Julian Williams, and I take Expedite. Some days I walk into the gym, and I don't necessarily feel like working. Take a scoop or two of this, be ready to go. It's the best stuff I've ever had. Expedite. to a unified champ, Jose Ramirez. What do you think about seeing Terrence in a, in a dog fight tonight? It's good, man. It's good, you know. To Terrence, uh, you know, he showed, he showed something you can't teach in boxing, you know. It's that will, you know. It's that, it's that, that heart, you know. It's, that, it's, it's the ability to come, at, to come across adversity, you know. He got, you know, he was getting, he got caught a couple times early in the fight, you know, but he showed, he showed he was just in a different level. You scored that fourth, that fourth round, a knockdown a slip. It could have been either way. I mean, it's, it, was, it, was, it was in the middle, so, you know, I I wasn't mad if they didn't, you know, and I wouldn't be mad if they would have scored it in knockdown. So it just depends how uh, some people see it. You know, he did get caught, you know, and it looked like he was hurt a little bit, but then it was it was kind of like a push down, you know. But it, it's you know it's it's boxing things happen. Does this give you a little more excitement to move up and take that challenge? 100%, man, definitely. Yeah, you know, I got I got a couple more fights in the in the uh, super lightweight division, junior welterweight, but definitely after a year. I'm going to move up to 147, man. So, so 2021, we'll see Jose at 147? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the Teofimo Lopez, another Latino. Latin. Came and did his thing, showed up and showed out the garden. Exactly, man. He said it all. You know, he came and showed up and landed a vicious hand, a right hand. Yeah, that's the door. Right in the bun. That's it. For people that had not been to, I've been to MMA and boxing fights. Tell people here in this place, tell people how electric it is in this garden. It's not just a myth. It's amazing, man. You haven't lived if you haven't experienced this, bro. Yeah, you got to come and experience boxing here at the garden. How much this one? You get, you get you and Bud up in there at the, in this very arena. No, I'll, be, I'll be honored. Definitely. And what's your mindset going to the your fight? Now you're going to be in China early 2020. Yeah, you, you, you already look like you're getting ready back in shape. Yeah, you're in camp? camp? I'm already in camp. I've been in camp for three weeks now. So we started sparring last week. So we got seven, seven weeks to go. And now, now that 2019 is officially over for you, some of your 2019 becoming a unified champ, going to somebody's backyard, my hometown Dallas, Texas, and getting that W spectacular over Maurice Hooker. Has it sunk in yet? It was a, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a, uh, a great year for me, you know. But we gotta, you know, it's too early to celebrate, you know. There's still a lot to, to prove. There's still a lot to, to push myself, and I'm looking forward to that. So does that give you more uh, incentive to dare to be great? Because you talked about that leading up to the hooker fight. Now that you kind of got down that man, does he, you feel like you could be even greater? Of course, you know, um, you know like I said, I'm, I still consider myself a young champion. So um, my career just, you know, I'm only going to get better and better and better and stronger and stronger. So I'm looking forward to that.